strange to some of the people but there is no denial in this fact and this is confirmed by verses 40 to 42 of chapter 34 of the glorious quran in the following words on the day when he gathers them all together it means Allah almighty is going to gather mankind on the judgment day then say to the angels was it you these used to worship Allah almighty is asking the angels they will say be you glorified, you are our master, not them. In fact, they used to worship the jinn, and most of them had faith in them. Allah Almighty would say, Today none of you has the power to profit or harm the other. And we will say to those who did wrong, Taste the agony of the fire which you used to deny. So this is an irrefutable truth that is confirmed by the glorious Quran that majority of the mankind worship jinn and who is that jinn it is iblis the satan and his progeny now we may categorize i mean the followers or worshiper of jinn into three broad categories one is the declared polytheist atheist and agnostics who openly say okay we don't believe in god we don't believe in life in the hereafter we believe in more than one god etc etc then there are disguised polytheists who on the face of it say that we are monotheists like most famous Christians and Jews, but they are indulged in polytheistic practices. And then there's a third category of strict monotheists who are strict monotheists who believe in one God, but because of their human weaknesses, inherent human weaknesses, at times they get trapped in the lurement of Satan. But their case is different. But so long as the first two classes are concerned, the declared polytheist, atheist, and of course agnostics, and of course disguised polytheists, if we just follow the 80-20 rule, we can say that more than 80% of the people at any point in time in the world are always indulged in this heinous sin. Of course, based on this fact, we can say that majority of the people in the world are always worshippers of Satan. They are worshippers of jinn. Now the question may arise that what are the reasons for which mankind is indulged in worshipping jinn? So in my opinion and based on the wisdom provided by the glorious Quran, there are three fundamental reasons. The first one is the catalyst. What is the catalyst? That at the time of creation of Adam, peace be upon him, when Allah Almighty asked all the angels to prostrate before him, it was only Iblis who refused it and ultimately he was banished from uh, Allah's favour. And uh, then, of course, he took a vow that he's going to misguide a large number of mankind out of jealousy and revenge. And this fact is beautifully explained in verses 75 to 85 of chapter 38 of the glorious Quran in the following words. He said that to the Almighty, O Satan, what prevented you from prostrating before what I created with my own hands? Are you too proud or were you one of the exalted? He said, Angel is reply, uh, uh, sorry, Satan is replying, I am better than he. You created me from fire and you created him from clay. Allah said, then get out of here. You are an outcast. And my curse will be upon you until the day of judgment. The Satan replied, Lord, defer me until the day when they are resurrected. That is, human beings are resurrected. Allah said, you are one of those deferred until the day of time appointed. Then Satan replied, by your majesty, I will seduce them all, except for your loyal servants among them. So these are the exceptions, loyal servants, and there are very few souls. Allah Almighty said, the truth is, and I say the truth, I will fill hell with you and with every one of them who follows you. So it is a categoric declaration on the part of Allah Almighty, and of course, uh, a very strong vow that is undertaken by Satan that he was going to misguide and mislead large number of mankind. So consequently, he is indulged in that thing. And we know that majority of the people that, who declare themselves as polytheist, atheist, or who are indulged in polytheistic practices are in fact followers and worshippers of Satan. 
Now, second important reason is attributes of mankind. We know that in the glorious Quran, Allah Almighty has explained that he has created mankind with strong points and weak points, that is shortcomings of mankind. And uh, of course, uh, because of the fact that human beings uh, uh, attitude is always uh, hanging between good and evil. So the Satan would never, I mean, miss this opportunity. He would always push mankind towards evil deeds. And uh, consequently, if uh, we have to look into the deeds of mankind at any point in time, we'll notice that majority of us are endured in committing sins than doing good things. And because of this fact, uh, Allah Almighty has declared in verse 61 of chapter 16, the following declaration, if God were to hold mankind for their injustices, he would not leave upon it a single creature. He would just destroy it, annihilate all mankind on earth. But he postpones them until an appointed time, that is the time of their death. Then when their time arrives, they will not delay it by, an, by one hour, nor will they advance it. So it is a confirmation by Almighty that majority of mankind, because of the fact that there are good points and bad points in human beings, and of course, mankind is more tilted towards evil practices, and there is a push uh, from the Satan also, there is a allurement from the Satan also. So majority of mankind at any point in time are basically sinners. I mean, they are indulged in sins. And the most important, uh, I mean, uh, attribute of mankind uh, that is highlighted in the glorious Quran is that of thanklessness, that mankind is ungrateful to their Lord. This fact is uh, explained in verse 34 of chapter 14 in the following words. And he has given you something of all what you asked. And if you were to count God's blessings, you will not be able to enumerate them. The human being is unfair and ungrateful. We know that Allah Almighty made human being his vice unit, his deputy. We have been given preference over all of the creations and with the luxuries of life, with the benefits of health, our senses, everything, so much is there. But mankind is always thankless to Allah Almighty. They would say, okay, whatever is given to me, it was my right. But whatever is not given to me and provided to somebody else, it should also be granted to me. And Allah Almighty says on another occasion in the glorious Quran that thanklessness is an attribute of Satan, the jinn. He was most thankless to Allah Almighty. Now, third reason uh, is not, uh, or third factor is not applying the reason. So it means that when people are blindly following jinn, Iblis, or the Satan, so it means they are not applying reason. And this fact is highlighted in verse 100 of chapter 10 of the glorious Quran in the following words, no soul can believe except by God's leave without Allah's permission. And he lays disgrace upon those who refuse to apply reason. So Lord Almighty says that, in fact, I would disgrace only those people who would not apply reason because they are human beings. They are not cattle that they have to follow something blindly. And this fact is reinforced in a different study in verse 179 of chapter 7 in the following words. We have destined for hell multitudes of jinn and human, line number of jinns and humans. They have hearts with which they do not understand blindness. They have eyes with which they do not see blindness. They have ears with which they do not hear blindness. These are like cattle. In fact, they are further astray. These are the heedless. So Almighty says that there are human beings, although they are human beings, they, they are provided with wisdom. They, they, they were expected to apply reason, to ponder over, to think over, to distinguish between who is their real master, that is Allah Almighty, and it is not Jinn or Satan, who is their arch enemy. But I mean, they cannot distinguish between that because they are worse than cattle. They are the vilest creation because they are heedless. So based on these facts enumerated in the glorious Quran, we can say that, of course, majority of the mankind are worshippers of Jinn. Satan or Iblis, whatever name you may call it, and uh, the category may include all the polytheists, all the atheists, all the agnostics, and those believers who are indulged in polytheistic practices. And regarding strict monotheists, as I have explained earlier, although they are also lured by Satan, but our Almighty is going to, I mean, uh, absolve them of all their sins out of his mercy, knowing that they were strict monotheists. So, if we have to avoid the trap of Satan, the jinn, 
we must denounce politism in all its form. We must denounce atheism in all its form. We must denounce agnosticism in all its forms. So I conclude my today's monologue with a prayer that our Almighty may bless this effort and, and enable us to apply reason and seek guidance only from the glorious Quran, also called Kitab al-Furqan or the Criterion. May Allah Almighty bless this effort. And uh, I would request the viewers that uh, please do subscribe and share my channel for promoting teachings of the glorious Quran. May Allah Almighty reward your efforts. Amen. Thank you for watching.